Dragons are captivating and mythical creatures that have found a special place in human imagination across many cultures for centuries. Often revered as wise and noble beings in many modern tales, dragons undergo a profound reinterpretation when examined through ancient texts, notably the Bible. Within the pages of the scriptures, specifically in the Book of Job and the Book of Revelation, we encounter enigmatic creatures, behemoth, leviathan, and the dragon. These creatures challenge and reshape our perceptions of dragons. In many cultures, dragons are seen as powerful, wise, and even protective. They are often depicted as mighty beings capable of both destruction and benevolence. However, when we turn to the Bible, we find a different portrayal that challenges these conventional images. The Bible presents these creatures as symbols of chaos, power, and opposition to divine order, rather than as noble or wise beings. The Book of Job is renowned for its poetic descriptions and philosophical inquiries. In this book, we are introduced to Behemoth, described in Job 40 as a colossal land-dwelling creature. The depiction of Behemoth is reminiscent of a mighty dinosaur, emphasizing its enormous size and dominance within the animal kingdom. This portrayal establishes Behemoth as a powerful and awe-inspiring creature, commanding respect and invoking a sense of wonder. The description of Behemoth highlights its immense strength and grandeur. It is depicted as a creature that cannot be tamed or subdued by human hands. Its bones are like tubes of bronze, and its limbs like bars of iron. This imagery emphasizes the creature's power and invincibility, making it a symbol of the untamed forces of nature that God alone can control. While Behemoth captures attention with its land-based might, it is the vivid portrayal of Leviathan in Job 41 that truly fascinates. Leviathan is often associated with a sea monster or dragon-like entity. It is depicted as an untamable, fearsome creature with formidable traits. The text portrays Leviathan with impenetrable scales and breath that ignites flames, evoking a sense of awe and fear rather than admiration or nobility. Leviathan stands as a symbol of chaos and untamed power, challenging the conventional image of dragons as wise or heroic beings. Its description is detailed and terrifying, painting a picture of a creature that embodies the unpredictable and destructive forces of the sea. The portrayal of Leviathan serves to remind us of the uncontrollable aspects of nature and the limitations of human power. Moving beyond the Book of Job, the Book of Revelation introduces another significant reference to a dragon. Revelation 12 presents a vivid description of a dragon as a malevolent force seeking to devour a woman's child. This portrayal symbolizes evil and opposition to divine forces, starkly contrasting with the benevolent or wise depictions of dragons in various cultural narratives. The dragon in Revelation embodies malevolence, representing the forces working against righteousness and divine order. Moreover, Revelation 20 further extends the symbolism of dragons, depicting a great dragon being chained and imprisoned, signifying the ultimate defeat of evil. This portrayal aligns with the biblical narrative of overcoming chaos and evil through divine intervention, emphasizing the triumph of good over malevolent forces, symbolized by the dragon's defeat and imprisonment. These biblical references challenge and redefine the conventional perception of dragons as noble or wise creatures. Instead, they portray dragons as symbols of chaos, malevolence, and opposition to divine order. Behemoth and Leviathan in Job, alongside the dragon in Revelation, collectively present dragons as formidable and untamed forces, invoking awe and fear rather than admiration or reverence. The ambiguity and metaphorical nature of these biblical descriptions invite varied interpretations. Some scholars argue that these descriptions symbolize cosmic forces or represent aspects of nature rather than literal creatures. This ambiguity allows for diverse interpretations and prompts contemplation on the symbolic significance these creatures hold in ancient texts. 
Furthermore, the cultural and geographical diversity across various civilizations contributes to the multifaceted nature of dragon mythology. Dragons assume different forms and attributes in different cultures, ranging from malevolent beings to benevolent guardians. The contrast between the biblical portrayal of dragons and dragons depicted in other cultural narratives underscores the complexity and diversity of mythical creatures across civilizations. In summary, the biblical references to Behemoth, Leviathan, and the dragon challenge the popular perception of dragons as noble or wise creatures. Instead, they symbolize chaos, malevolence, and opposition to divine order as seen in the Book of Job and Revelation. The diverse interpretations of these biblical creatures emphasize the complexity and richness of our understanding of dragons in ancient texts and their cultural significance. As we explore these texts and their interpretations, the portrayal of dragons in biblical narratives serves as a reminder of the intricate and varied perspectives on mythical creatures, inviting us to delve deeper into the symbolism and cultural significance woven into these ancient texts. We have reached the end of our video, and I hope you like it. If you're looking for inspiration, knowledge, and spiritual connection, don't let this opportunity pass you by. Subscribe to our channel. Now leave your like and comment to strengthen our community. Continue watching videos about the history of the Bible. I will leave two recommendations here on the screen. God bless you. We will get to the next video.